y'all welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new to my channel welcome 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 my name is Mianda Mia the Don Yanda Yanda welcome to my channel so go ahead and click that subscribe button and to my frequent flyers how y'all living welcome back hope you guys are doing well and you know for the African way happy new year I'm keep saying happy new year until like June probably but um yeah so um I'm just gonna go ahead and give a, a little disclaimer if you have not seen Bridgerton, you probably should not watch this <laughs> because I'm going to be spoiling left, right, and center. So don't watch this if you haven't seen Bridgerton yet or you and, and you actually want to watch Bridgerton. If you don't want to watch Bridgerton, then I mean, I guess watch it. But if it has piqued your interest and you want to watch it, don't watch this video unless you don't mind spoilers. I don't mind spoilers, but some people do. So, but anyway. I've never done this type of video before. I'm not a movie reviewer. I'm not a show reviewer, but Bridgerton, my girl Shonda, did she, she did it again, okay? And Bridgerton is just like, it's, my favorite show is Power. It has taken the number two spot, and that's saying a lot. It's taken number two. So, like I said, I'm not usually a movie review person. I don't do reviews on certain things. But in case you did not know about know this about me, I'm a movie buff. I love, 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 love movies. I love TV shows. So this is in my general, you know, it's in my aria. It's in my um my realm of things that I like to do. But I just have never posted a YouTube video doing this type of thing. But on Bridgerton, maybe I'm going to steps so let's just go ahead and get right into All right, it so if y'all see me looking down it's gonna be because i have you know notes and i have things that i want to work off of and make sure i don't miss so this video i'm gonna try to keep it short but you know it may be a long one so bear with me okay so if you don't know what bridgerton is bridgerton is a regency area a regency era um show based in london and Again, if you don't know about me, my favorite movie is Titanic. So once I saw it was, you know, Regency era, Victoria era, Victorian era, I was like, I'm watching it. So it's basically a show about girls who are, there's obviously, you know, a main character, but in general, the general theme is these girls are being, they're being brought out for the season. It's courting season, you know, it's, I think it's 1800s. Yeah, the show is in like 18 something. Uh, sorry but it's in 18 something so it's the season in London for everybody to be brought out and the show is based on the Bridgerton family which is like a, they're like a lavish like upscale you know they come from you know old money because you know if you watch things of that nature like um like Victorian era Regency era they prefer people that are old money and not new money for whatever reason I don't know but the the Bridgerton family is you know old money they're known in society and you know it is what it is so they're like they're up there right so the oldest daughter Daphne is being brought out for her first season and you know they're nervous they're like oh my god and if, in case you don't know like what the season is you're basically being brought out to see like if you're suitable to court and if you're you know courted by all the guys then you'll end up married by the end of the season and yeah but <laughs> she's you know the the eldest daughter of the Bridgertons so it's her season it's her first season and you know basically the show start the first episode is them bringing Daphne out into the season with all the other girls so yeah overall I love 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 this show y'all like from the outfits from just the way they live from the vernacular ooh we I love I love a good monologue and then just I'm a person who loves like pomp and circumstance so this show is full there is plenty of pomp and circumstance to go around it's like it's insane and I love it love it love it so much so overall I thoroughly enjoy the show now of course there were some things that I didn't like some things that I didn't agree with and I'll get to those later on but overall Shonda you did that you did it and Shonda usually does so not surprising but whew, like oh chills but okay 
so now you guys understand the concept of the show so i'm gonna i'm gonna you know just go down the list of the families that are important in the show that are the main characters so there's the bridgerton family and there is lady bridgerton their father died you know years ago so there's lady bridgerton which is the mother anthony the oldest um benedict colin daphne eloise um francesca gregory or george no it's george i'm pretty sure it's george and hyacinth and in case you didn't notice they're all named alphabetically <laughs> their mom named them from like a to what is it a to g a to h yeah so they're the bridgerton family they're you know they're not my favorite family as a whole but they're the main family of the show so um the next family is the featheringtons man the featheringtons are they're considered new money so um i didn't even know that until i had rewatched it because i'm one of those people i'm not even gonna cap i if i love something and i like really really enjoyed it i'll rewatch it and i can't wait to rewatch. like i rewatch stuff all the time but i think i rewatched i think i rewatched the entire bridgerton like whole season one again like a week later so yeah I'm one of those people if I really like something I'm gonna rewatch it and I'm gonna keep watching it because if it was good it was good so I didn't realize that they were new money until I watched it the second time but the Featheringtons is Lord Featherington which is the father Lady Featherington the mother Philippa Prudence and Penelope and then they have a cousin named uh Marina I think is her name Marina comes and she she to stay with them she's the cousin of the father she comes to stay with them so she can be you know put out in the season and maybe come back with a husband at the end of the season and the season just so we're like you know in the time period of the season is spring so as soon as it starts to get warm in London it's the season so the next important family are well they're not family but they are family she raised him Duke of Hastings Woo! my god the duke of hastings and lady danbury and you'll understand why they're family but not family you know as we go on so let's move on <laughs> my favorite characters in the entire show of course is the duke of hastings and if you have seen the duke of hastings you know why he's the favorite reggae jean paul like played the mess out of that role i was like because at first i saw <laughs> i saw one of my little um my little cousins she posted she was like i burned for him i said girl what are you talking about then i watched that say i burned for him too i was like sir do you know there's a line we are waiting like man he played his role he woo chef's kiss and not not only is he like He's a great actor. That man is fine. And it's like not it's not like the fine where it's like Thor, or like, you know, Michael B. Jordan type of fine. Like he's like a regular dude, but like he's like fine. And then it's not even just his looks, it's how he carries himself. Like, woo! But we gonna get to that. We will get to that. My next favorite character was Penelope. I love Penelope. Penelope was my girl. I knew she was gonna be my girl from the jump. When I first saw her in like the first couple scenes, I was like, she's gonna be one of my favorite characters. She's like, she's so sweet and you can tell she's a good friend and you know, if you need anything, she'll be there for you. But at the same time, she's not gonna let you, you know, like try to pump fake on her. Like you're not gonna, you're just not gonna do Penelope wrong. Like she's smart enough to know what, what's what, you know? And then my next favorite character was Eloise because Eloise was different. Eloise, she wasn't, they, they, they made Daphne, well I guess not made her, but her character had this like whole innocence aura around her and it kind of was like, why are y'all making this adult? Cause in the show she's 21. Um, why are y'all making her character have like the mindset of like a 12 year old when she's 21 and you know She's supposed to be getting married and I guess it's because like she actually hadn't lived life and whatnot But Eloise was smart though. Eloise was like, eh, I'm not with that bird stuff. She, Eloise was like, I don't want to get married I want to go to school. I want to write but you know just because I'm a girl and it's the 1800s. I can't do that so I feel like um 
things will come for Eloise. She is one of my favorite characters. And of course, Daphne was, you know, a good character. I would say honorable mention is Daphne and Lady Violet, which is her mother, because Lady Violet was just like, she was like, cool. I was like, are you, sh I was like, you're not supposed to be acting like that as a mom in the 1800s. You're supposed to be annoying like Lady Featherington. I think her name was Portia. I'm pretty sure her name was Portia Featherington. She was annoying as it, she was annoying as I am ever. Like, oh my God. But Lady Violet was like, she was like so sweet and she was like, oh my God, I'm just here for my kids and da 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 da. So I was like, okay. But so out of my favorite characters, her and Daphne are honorable mentions to everybody else. So let's just let's get into the meat of this thing. Like I said, if you plan on watching this, don't, I mean, yeah don't don't listen because i'm about to spoil everything sorry and um to those who are uh, who might watch this show based off what i'm saying right now let's all be clear that this show has a lot of adult sleepovers <laughs> so if you don't watch shows like that if you're uncomfortable watching things like that this may not be the show for you and i mean like a lot especially episode six i was like um are y'all all right <laughs> i know my mom was gonna be like girl like, <laughs> it was a bit much like the show overall was good but i was like mm, okay you know so just fair warning um it starts in episode one there are definitely a lot of adult sleepovers so if you're gonna watch it i don't suggest you watch it with your grandma i don't suggest unless you have that relationship with your parents i don't suggest you watch it with your parents because that's really weird and gross and awkward and no thanks but yeah and if you have inhibitions about shows that you know have adult sleepovers in them um i mean if you if you like you know if you like try and look past it it's not the focal point of the show they just add it in but look past it well you know i mean i watch again i watch power and p valley and you know you and watch all of the shows so it wasn't really nothing for me i was just like oh okay you know i wasn't expecting that especially episode six episode six was a lot like i was like um should i be watching this <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot I was like and again I say I watch power so yeah we move so just a disclaimer this show has adult sleepovers and if you can't handle that then you don't need to be watching the show so we move on to my favorite scenes let's start with it's episode one Duke of Hastings is pulling up. He pulled like just even the way he pulled up on a horse. I was like, you making me want to go ride a horse right now, even though I'm not gonna look like that when I ride the horse. Like he just pulled up like you would have thought he was like driving a Lambo or a Rolls Royce, but this man was riding a horse. And he just pulled up and he did his eyebrow. He uh, he has these eyebrows that are like perfectly arched. And then when he raises them, man. So he pulled up and it was just like the way he pulled up now that that's that's just my first favorite scene i was just like i understand why everybody is tripping on this show so <clears throat> my next favorite scene <sighs> my next favorite scene is when so something happens i'm not gonna fully just tell out every episode but something happens between him and daphne obviously they're the center couple that um they're the center couple in the show so something happens between him and daphne and they need to get married quickly and um you know they're trying to get a license they can't do it so they have to go and talk to the queen so the queen is like okay you know state your case why do you need why do you guys want to get married so quickly why do you guys want to you know whatever whatever when i said oh my god like when i tell y'all this man was speaking on the oh my god my god like this i can't even i can't even recite it i'm pretty sure i've seen that scene like five or six times because i've gone back just to watch that scene specifically i'll probably put a clip in so y'all can see it see it but 
I was like, sir, you can talk to me like that. You can talk about me like that. Because originally him and Daphne didn't like each other. And they were just, you know, they found themselves in a situation where they had to, like, play roles and be friends. And then they ended up falling in love with each other, of course. And, and so, you know, now they ended up having to get married. He was like, ugh, like... I mean, God, like, I was just like, sir, and like I said, I'll put the clip in, I was like, you know, a side note, to all my girls who are single, we're out here single together, don't, don't date nobody, or don't marry nobody, unless they talk about you like that, because the bar has been raised, not that it was any lower, but, whoo, if he's not trying to give you a monologue like that, bye, goodbye beat it though like oh my god and the queen was just like like you heard it his it was the conviction for me i was like my god like i don't even know her for real yet and you already feel all that i, I love it i love it what, what is i love it he was like bro i love it like oh my god like when I tell y'all I almost jumped into the screen when he was talking about how much he loved Daphne and that was his best friend and I almost came into the screen like I had to take a pause <clears throat> and stop watching because I was like girl you're getting a little bit too invested in this but then I was like that's the point of the show it's supposed to make you feel like that but let me tell you Shonda you did that I was in there like whoo Someone needs to speak on me like that because what a time what a day that will be like wow so that was I'm pretty sure that's my favorite scene out of the entire show but yeah give it in my god oh my gosh like wow so my next favorite scene is their honeymoon now it's their honeymoon and you know they've had this awkward wedding and um and you know they don't they're like they haven't said how they feel about each other but like they like each other they just haven't said it and i know y'all are probably like ain't there people married you gotta watch the show so <laughs> so you know they're arguing and she was like why would not you say anything why are you acting like this da, da 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 because they haven't expressed that they're truly like in love with each other right so he was like oh you know this is how one acts when one burns for another and daphne's stupid self burn what you mean burn that's why i said her innocence was like annoying because i was like all right sis i know you haven't been through a lot you haven't done a lot you ain't lived that much but like sis come on like use your thinking cab come. and so he's like oh like i burned for you i'm in love like my heart is on fire and you can't even see it and so in that moment i was with him i was like girl like open your eyes and so He's just like going off. He was like, that's how one feels. He was, he's like, Daphne, I, I know this part because I was like, no, so I was like, no, did. But I'll put the clip in again. He was like, Daphne, that's how one feels when you you inhibit my dreams. You're everywhere I look. I know, said, boy, you got some words. He got some words to him. I was like, he knows how to talk that talk because wow, wow. I was just like, and sis didn't like him at first. Granted, at first he was a booty hoe, but like, I was just like, yeah, unless you talking to me like that, you got to go partner like, wink. But, um, unless you're talking to me like that, you're going to have to hit the road because, wow, like, I would like a monologue. And I just, I, I don't know if it's the accent that does it for me or just the, 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 the conjugation of the, of the, the sentence or what, but, whoo, give it in my God. Like, wow. Anyway, on to my other next favorite scene the lady whistle down review i know i'm not going in order but um <clears throat> sorry but i just you know i'm going off what i what i wrote down so the lady whistle down scene i honestly it was one of my favorite scenes because it what i was not expecting lady whistle down to be who she is but it was like 
I was like, okay, you know, I know you had it like that. But then um, I kind of wish that they had waited. I feel like um, Netflix or, you know, whoever the production, they put Lady Who, they put out who Lady Whistledown was in the first season because they didn't know if they were going to get, you know, another season. But I feel like they should have just kept it a secret. That could have been one secret, you know, that, um, whew, that could have been one secret that stayed as is because that would have been something nice to keep going on through the seasons but maybe they'll play it in a way to where we know who Lady Whistledown is but everybody else still doesn't know I feel like that's what they're gonna do so I was I was thoroughly shocked I was surprised because I thought we had caught her we was like all right sis give it up you either gonna write some good stuff or you gonna bounce and plot twist so I hope they I hope they spin it to where we're the only ones who know who Lady Whistledown is so she can keep writing and she can um you know just keep keep her thing going you know because I was I was feeling Lady Whistledown I was like you know what I can agree with that because the way some of y'all be acting I might have to be a Lady Whistledown myself y'all just gonna see me um typing and putting stuff out because y'all don't like telling the truth so y'all gonna see me being a lady whistle down but no I'm, I'm just playing I don't care enough to put out people's business but <laughs> that scene was one of my favorite scenes and my last scene actually no I have one more I know sorry I had the the next scene is the first time Simon and um, Penelope dance because it's just like they walk out and you know everybody's like oh my gosh because she's named the season's diamond after they go see the queen she's named the season the season's diamond as in she's the one everybody needs to watch she's the girl of the season she's you know like the it girl so they're at the first ball or is it the second ball yeah no it's the first ball they're at the first ball and he's there and you know they don't like each other no it's the second ball because they've already seen each other they don't like each other but again they find themselves in these circumstances they're like all right bet let's just play along and they're walking out and it's just the way they're walking i don't know if it's the way they're walking out or the way it was being filmed but like everybody's like oh my god because you know he's the duke of hastings everybody wants to marry him and she's the season's diamond everybody's like oh man like they're together so they're walking out and it's just like this like I don't know what it even is they're just walking out and it's just this music playing and it's like they're about to do their first dance together ever like first time ever dancing with each other and then the fireworks go off and the sparklers or you know it was like if you've seen the great Gatsby that scene where you finally see who who Jay Gatsby actually is it was like that so I was just like oh like what a scene like I think it, I think why it's one of my favorite scenes is because of the Great Gatsby it was just like a whole beautiful scene at this outdoor ball and everybody's like oh my god you know these people that are so high up are you know together we want to see where it goes so that's one of my um favorite scenes that's the second to last favorite scene so my last favorite scene and it's befitting that it's the last one too Daphne um <clears throat> for a second um the duke lost his mind a little bit so daphne had to show him who she was this was one this was why daphne was like okay you can be in the favorite character list because i was like okay girl you got a little um you got a little something to you i was like you you got a little twang to you i was like okay i can rock with her because like i said her innocence was like it was getting irritating to me because i was like i didn't come to watch like a 12 year old get married you know but the the her and the duke like like i said they end up having feelings for each other even though they're they're you know playing this game they end up having feelings for each other and he's like no um i don't want to marry you and you know that's it i'm breaking it off we're not friends like he did her call he he was like like he cut her off cold and i was like dang like you have to do all that and so she was like oh okay bet and so of course she was like crying but she was like nah i'm gonna play the game so they're going to the ball he's about to leave because he was only in london for a short time he was only there to handle business and um the, he's about to leave but there's one final ball that everybody attends that night and um you know that her daphne's ladies maid she was like shall i prepare your dress get your hair she was like no i'm not wearing that tonight i'm gonna wear her mom made her this like bad dress it was like 
it was bad so she was like nope I'm gonna wear that dress and you're gonna do my hair how you know like just make it really pretty my makeup and everything and so you know her ladies mate is like okay you know even though you just bought this dress all right and so they get to the ball and um her mom was like Daphne Daphne are you feeling all right and she was like I feel perfect that's why I knew I was like this the bad I was like this the bad chick because I already know what game you finna play. And then, so, she's coming down the stairs because the ball was, like, downstairs and you have to enter from the top. And she's coming down the stairs. And, sis, it's, like, that moment when you know that you look good and you know that everybody else know that you look good and everybody's looking at you. They were literally all watching her come down the stairs. And then she comes down the stairs and the prince has been wanting her for a minute. And so she goes straight to the prince. She was, you know my lord your your highness and he's like this man was ready to marry her that night and so she knows the duke is there and that he's watching and she was like you thought you had me messed up and here i am where's the prince you not all that's out there boo and i know that probably sounds bad that i'm you know championing her for that but that was a bad scene no matter what you want to say she was like you thought i was down with you alone no baby i have options and my options are royalty and i can like it was basically like he tried to like hurt her feelings like really bad so she would like you know just you know move on whatever and she was basically like you thought you had me down and here I am commanding the room like when and I guess that's my favorite part of the scene is like when you're not like you don't even have to do anything and you can command the attention of everybody in the room that's a skill that's a skill I'd like to have quite frankly like you just walk in everybody know it's good that's a skill so that's why that's honestly one of my like one of my top favorite scenes because she was like all right i know i know i'm good i don't like i don't i don't need you i don't need him i don't need him i don't need anybody else i can command attention without even having to do anything extra you feel me so i guess that's why it's my favorite scene i was like then what's that on period it was a very city girl moment i was like you better let him know you don't need the Duke of Hastings on your arm. You you do whatever you want to do. And guess what? They'll still be falling at your feet. Sweetheart. Ugh, my favorite scene. <clears throat> so, we move. <laughs> so, I was going to talk about plot twists, but I kind of already did. So, I'm just going to skip past that. My dislikes. <sighs> dislikes I've already said a few of them to you my dislikes definitely I'm gonna start with um how it starts Anthony is you know he's the the I even forget what um I don't forget his title, but he's the man of the house. Their dad died and he's the firstborn so he has to be the one to like take care of the family, right? So all these callers and suitors are coming to see Daphne after you know the queen um announces that she's the season's incomparable and so I Anthony is acting like and he is no you're not gonna marry him da 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 and I just because I have brothers I have an older brother and I have a younger brother and I just sat besides myself because I was like in never in life never in life would there come a day where my brothers are going to sit and tell me who I can and cannot marry, when I'm gonna get married, how I'm gonna get married, what how I'm gonna look when I, never in life. They can't even tell me what to eat. Like they, <laughs> they then like there's nothing that they can tell me. So for Daphne to be like her brother was acting so crazy that all the guys were like, We're not even trying to mess with y'all like that no more. We're good. So the only person that wanted her was like this like this like per this pervert old man like he was talking about he came up to her he was like oh I've been dreaming of you since I was in grade school and she was like you mean when I was five years old nasty get that old man out of my face and he's the only one who wanted her because Anthony is acting crazy right so that was one of my dislikes I really hated Anthony's attitude in the beginning of the show because I was like I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the liquor getting to you. I don't know if it's the lack of sleep. I don't know what it is. But Ned, in which life do you think you're gonna be commanding somebody on? I 
I, I sat beside myself and we looked at the TV. We couldn't believe our eyes. We was like, wait a minute. And he was like, and so we was like, nope. I said, who you're going to marry? You're going to marry him. I don't care about anybody else. And little did he know, the guy that he was trying to have her marry, that old disgusting man, he had a child he wasn't even taking care of. He ain't paying no child support, nothing like that. And he was just like this disgusting old man that wanted a check. And then he found out and he was like, oh my God, why didn't you tell me? And she was like, would you have listened to me? He would not. It took the Duke of Hastings because the Duke of Hastings, um, Simon and Anthony are friends who went to college together. It took him saying something for him to be like, oh man, this dude is trifling. Like your eyes couldn't tell, you could look like, the I don't, for those of you who watch Harry Potter, I'm a Harry Potter fan. If you have seen, um, what's his name, uh, Ron has a pet rat, right? We found out, we find out later in, um, later in the series of Harry Potter that the rat is a person. If you've seen that person who transforms in and out of a rat form, that's what, um, the guy looked like that Anthony was trying to set her up with. I was like, you can't look at him and say, like, he looked dirty. And I know they didn't bathe back then that much, but it's filthy. I was like, sir... Anyway, that's why I disliked Anthony, but he, 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 uh, what was it called? He, uh, stopped sipping on that yak and he got himself together and his mind got right because I was like, eh, eh, but you're not yet seen me proper. Are you kidding me? Anyway, my next dislike, I already talked about it. Daphne's innocence. It was like annoying. It was really, really annoying. Cause I was like, girl, you don't know nothing. You don't know how to do nothing besides breathe, eat and play the piano. Like what's the issue here i know i know and i know there's a disconnect with not knowing things and you have to keep yourself for <clears throat> you have to keep yourself from the world and da 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 but eloise also her eloise is her younger sister eloise was able to keep herself from like being in bad situations but she was still smart enough to know what was going on well, like and maybe i shouldn't use the word innocence they tried to, in my opinion they kind of like made daphne act a little dumb and i was like eh Eh, eh. but yeah her whole innocence like her her feigning of innocence and her i don't know facade that it just really got on my nerves i was like girl please get out of my face you are grown like but we move and you know i guess some of it wasn't her fault her mom didn't tell her the truth about a lot of things which you guys will see if you watch the show or if you have watched the show her mom didn't tell her the truth about certain things and yeah, you know, that was kind of her mom's fault. But the rest of it, like, baby, you've been alive for two decades. Like, please. Read a book or something. I don't know. But hopefully season two, they take away that little, like, Bambi deer eyed look that she be doing. And uh, for real, oh my god, I don't know anything. You know, hopefully they take that away for season two. But anyway, we move. So the next thing that pissed me off was Colin's stupidity. Now, if y'all are wondering why I'm talking about Colin, Colin is one of the Bridgerton brothers. I'm gonna, it's, spoiler, sorry, I don't care. Penelope is in love, you know, Penelope's my girl. So Penelope's in love with Colin, right? And this idiot, like, I don't know if he was just not acknowledging it or what, because Penelope was not subtle. So, and I guess that got on my nerves to a Penelope because she was him and it huh? and like, just say it, you know. But what is he going to do besides say no? Which, I mean, of course, yeah, that's going to hurt. But, like, we move, you know. But what I have heard, even though that Colin, like, ooh-wee, I was ready to hit that boy with a brick. But, you know, from what I have heard, Colin gets his mind together. So, hopefully, you know, it plays out into the further seasons because they are being renewed for eight seasons. Um, I'm pretty sure, since they are going off the books, I'm pretty sure... Um, you know they're gonna start telling stories in the other coming seasons because this season was mostly about Daphne and the Duke and I heard that there is um, one of the books I think book five is about Colin so we'll see if in maybe season five of the show season five is when he you know finally gets my girl Penelope and gets himself a quality wife you feel me even though he's gonna be old but we'll we'll see so yeah so um, another just to just to go off what I was just talking about, if you didn't know that the the show Bridgerton is based off a series of books, there is eight books, so I'm pretty sure that's why there's eight seasons. I I um 
have never read any of them i've never even heard of any of them but a lot of people are saying that they completely changed a lot of stuff but from what i'm hearing what they changed i like it better this way now i, I was an avid reader and i probably i want to find the books and see what the like true difference is but so i i know you know if you're an avid reader and you've read a book and the movie the show or the movie is about to come out you're expecting one thing i know a lot of people are disappointed however those of us who have not read the books um i'm cool i enjoyed it so yeah but this is based off a series of books and apparently the books came out 20 years ago they came out well 21 now they came out in 2000 so yeah I, we ain't even know but yeah so hopefully in the seasons they definitely do play off of the books and you know if that's the case then everybody will have their own their own season like their own season in the show where it's just about their personal development and whatnot and just their storyline so that'll be good to see i can't wait to see that now let's just go ahead and get right into it the bitter betties talk about what we, what i've seen on social media because i was seeing things on social media before i even watched the show and i was just like oh my god here y'all go because like, everybody like being mad on twitter we are we already know how it goes people don't even have to watch anything for real they'll watch one episode and have a think piece and be upset and be ready to to to, to tear the world down and want to shut down netflix to shonda rhimes and shoot her up and whatnot and so what I was seeing online is that everybody was upset that Daphne and the Duke got together because he's black and she's white. Really? Now, I know some people are going to be like, why can't, why is Shonda always doing some of our black lives? Let's be clear. And this is not me excusing anybody. This is just my opinions one y'all always gonna be mad it, it could have been a black couple together and she would have done it incorrectly then it could have been a white couple together she could have done it incorrectly then so y'all are always going to be mad number two this is the 1800s in london there was no black people i'm pretty sure the black people wouldn't even been allowed in the alleys let alone in the houses so what are y'all saying to me right now like it's a fantasy fiction show and i know I know we're in the era of everybody vying for um, diversity, but let's be real. Let's use our thinking caps. We're in this type of thing. If you've watched anything Victorian era, Pride and Prejudice, Downtown Abbey, Downton Abbey, any of those type of shows, there are no black people. Why? Because there was no black people. Unless y'all just want to see black people on the screen being ladies maids and sweeping the alley. Let's let's calm it down and i'm not saying like and just I, don't, I just can't i'll never understand why everybody just be mad they're upset that the man is black she's white they're upset that the black people aren't enough they're upset like when will you people be happy like what what is it when y'all gonna be happy and i know somebody's gonna watch this and be like me are you really yeah i am really saying that because there weren't even no black people back then in these areas so and the queen was black that was the i think that was one of the best parts of the show the queen was a black woman and they would change her wigs her wigs her wigs were all afrocentric hair like you just have to see it they changed her wigs every single day they were all afrocentric styles it was crazy but like that was one of the things that they were showing in the show the when lady danbury is talking to the duke and she was like you know she's like well, long ago it wasn't even long ago that we wouldn't be allowed in these positions and you're a duke now you're at a high position of power all because of love all because the king fell in love with the black woman you know so i feel like it is a good showcase of that i know people are like mm, that's not enough but let's let, let let's like let's tone it down please because if y'all really want to keep it a stack you know you're not gonna like the position that they actually would put them in if it was very much based off what was the situation in this said time period that's just my opinions on it you ain't gotta like my opinion but it, it is what it is then it's the truth it wouldn't have been anything like that situation so we move and that's why i don't even like that's why i don't like getting on twitter sometimes or getting on getting on instagram sometimes just because um you know the whole like mass like like witch hunt for any and every little thing it's like annoying so yeah 
but other than that I'm in love I love the show Bridgerton I love Victoria era stuff I love um you know anything pomp and circumstance it's like it's a show that's like it's funny it's serious it's like passionate it's like intense there are moments where like like there are moments between Daphne and the Duke like I said where they were like they had an issue and I was like getting I was getting so mad because I I was like I'm rooting for y'all I am rooting for you people so you better have it right because we're not doing that we're not playing the reindeer games you feel me so yeah but hopefully for season two i'm excited for season two i'm excited for all the other what is the other seven seasons to come i am very 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 excited hopefully they bring it just like they brought it in season one i can't wait to see it i don't know when the actual date for season two is we'll see they probably already started filming honestly but we will see i can't i cannot wait to see i'm very excited to see what they come up with so i hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope you guys enjoyed hearing my point of view on the show hearing what i like disliked comment down below if you've watched the show if you liked it if you didn't like it if you plan on watching it i know i spoiled a few things kind of a lot of things like i said i would <laughs> if you want to watch the show comment who your favorite character is i gave mine just let me know what y'all thought of this show and let me know if you guys like this video if you guys want to see another one of these videos because like i said i'd be watching shows so if y'all want me to sit here and talk about them, we can do that. <laughs> but other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you haven't gone around, click around on my page. I got playlists. Check out my other videos. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. I'll see y'all in my next one.